Hey guys, so welcome to this tutorial for my iReal animated dust particles. Um, if you're familiar with my other iReal products, this one will be no different. It's basically a single prop, uh, and I include any blocks to set the prop in motion. And that's basically all there is to the product. Of course, there's I include different uh, material options um, for the prop, but all there is to it is simply a prop and an any blocks. So of course uh, you can use it in still images by simply not applying the any blocks. Okay, so let's get started. So we have a very basic scene here. This is just a um, a 3D text object and then if I zoom out here um, this is uh, a god ray um, it's actually two two god rays but only one light is turned on and the backdrop you might recognize this is from my uh, light set uh, that is also available in the store um, so currently there are no particles in this scene. Um, so we want to uh, import the particles uh, to achieve this look that you saw in our in our promo. And this is very easy to do. It's all we do is simply import the prop and make sure that our camera is um, that the depth of field is turned on uh, on our camera. Um, if you want that effect, of course, you don't have to turn it on, but I typically do, so that the particles that are closer to the camera, they're kind of, they kind of appear out of focus. It kind of gives a nice effect. Um, okay. So to load the particles, simply double click uh, on the particles, and that loads a container with the actual prop into the scene. And just for our purposes here, let's increase the intensity just so we can see what's going on. So we imported one single um, prop into the scene, and it's about the size of a Genesis character. So it's a little bit taller than it is wide. And uh, that was by design. Um, so if you can get away with just having one prop in your scene, uh, for example, if you're just doing a portrait, uh, then that would be ideal. But in this situation, um, we're going to need to add more, more of these props to the scene. So let's go ahead and do that now. Um, so I'm going to switch to our main camera and then in our auxiliary viewport I'm just going to pull back a little bit and now import more copies of these dust particles and simply position them uh, where, where I want them to be in the scene. So basically, we just want to have them fill up the shot and maybe have this one a little bit higher, closer to the light. Okay, and we'll add another one. And this one, what we're going to do is we're going to bring it very close to the camera. Okay. And then, as you can see now, uh, these particles that are very close to the camera um, are out of focus. And when they're animated, it, it produces that, that bokeh look that, uh, that a lot of people like. Now, of course, the particles on the left um, are more intense because 
we changed them in the beginning to uh, level 4. The particles on the right have the default intensity of level 2. And um, they're a little bit more subtle. And in a final production, I would probably go with something closer to this than something that's um, very um, visible. But for the purposes of this tutorial, um, I'm just, I changed this to a higher intensity so you can see them. Now, of course, to animate the particles, uh, because right now they're, they're static, if we were to play them in the timeline, um, we would simply need to drag the uh, any blocks out onto the, the prop. So we can do that now. So we first insert the prop into the animate to timeline like so, and then simply drag the any blocks onto the prop. And that's all there is to it. So if I were to switch to check texture shaded and hit play, um, you'll see that we have motion now in our particles. Okay. Now, as a final point, um, these particles are uh, very low on resources. You can see here there's a very, very low polygon count, and also the, um, the materials are, are very basic. Okay, just very small, uh, low resolution materials. Um, so if you were, if you have my oceans product and you were happy with the speed of how the oceans um, worked in the viewport, uh, these particles are even faster um, because of the, the very low overhead involved. Um, so they lend themselves very well to animating and um, you don't need a high number of iterations in order to get a decent result from them. Oh, and uh, I meant to mention in the root folder, you might have noticed that there's a double layer and a single layer. The only difference between the two is that the double is twice as dense. Um, so loading it, um, you'll see that they're actually a copy um, of the particles. And this one is simply flipped upside down and rotated 90 degrees. So if you need a very um, dense volume of particles, use the double. Um, but in most cases, I would say just go with the single.